Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So I just made a delicious butternut squash roasted red pepper spaghetti sauce with sausage and the whole entire meal was only five points on WW. Check it out. So what you're gonna need to make this delicious meal is some butternut squash, some kale, a roasted red pepper, some whole grain pasta, spaghetti squash, zucchini noodles, some fresh chopped garlic, salt, pepper, fresh nutmeg, and a little bit of sage. Stay tuned and see how I make it. It came out delicious. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Arlene. Well, since this is fall and it's the season for squash, I have some roasted butternut, butternut squash here. And I also have a spaghetti squash, which I roasted at the same exact time. Now, this is a lot of spaghetti squash there, you guys. And let me show you. My spaghetti squash was so small. And I said, oh, is that going to be enough? Should I get a bigger one? I'm like, nah, that should be plenty. Tons out of this little, look, it's like the size of my hand. And it made all that spaghetti squash. Unbelievable. So anyhow, what we're going to make today is... I'm going to use the spaghetti squash, multi-grain, the whole, uh, the whole grain, um, regular spaghetti, and some zucchini noodles. That's going to be my pasta component for my dish. I'm going to be making a butternut squash, kale, nutmeg, roasted red pepper, garlic, sage, spaghetti sauce for on top. It is absolutely delicious. And it's so easy to do. Once you cut open your spaghetti squash and your butternut squash, I just put some spray on it with some salt and pepper, throw it in a 385 degree oven for about 45 minutes to an hour, and it was completely done. So I took it out to cool. And my red pepper here, I just purchased at the store. And I sprayed it and I stuck it in the air fryer on 390 because that's as high as my air fryer goes for about 15 minutes until you want to see all this nice charred stuff on it. And I'm just going to pull the stem out and discard of that. But guys, I have my blender here, which I just unplugged. I'll plug it in over here. I have my blender here, but I know the camera is not basically up on the on the blender. I'll show you this way. And then we're gonna just blend everything. And it's so easy to do. You don't have to cook it after you blend it. You just have to heat it up. So we're actually just gonna take our roasted red pepper and we're just gonna pull it apart. It's still piping hot. I'm gonna throw that into the blender. Then I'm gonna take my kale, which I washed, and throw that in. Now, I have my little micro plane here and a fresh thing of nutmeg. And I'm just gonna grate some nutmeg right onto the butternut squash. You want to do about a quarter of the nut. It just adds, I don't know, whenever I do anything but a nut squash, I always have to add a little fresh nutmeg. You do not want the nutmeg that is in the jaw. It is. It tastes totally different. So I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to scoop this out. Put all this in. I'll scoop it out with a spoon. This is a little too big. And you can make this ahead of time and put it in your refrigerator or freeze it and pull it out when you want to eat it. And then you just have to heat it up. 
want to get all of that off of there and into your blender. So I'm going to continue to that to do this one and this one, and then I will show you the next step. Okay, so all my butternut squash is out of its rind, or whatever you want to call it. So now I'm just going to be adding a little bit of black pepper. This actually says a pinch. So it'll be about three pinches of salt and one pinch of black pepper. And then I am going to be adding some fresh chopped garlic that I have in some light olive oil. But I'm going to try to... Let me see. Maybe I should do it with the fork. I want most of that oil out of there. So it's going to be about two tablespoons. I mean teaspoons. <laughs> I mean, you can put as much garlic in as you want. I'm not even going to charge myself any points for the oil because there was like really nothing, nothing there. So now that everything is in here, I am going to be adding just a little bit of water just to get it going in the bottom. If it's too thick, I might have to add more. So we're going to put the top on. Let me see if you can see me over here. Don't worry, the water is not going to take away from the flavor. <laughs> Gotta bring it down. There we go. Oh, it didn't stop yet. Oh, because I didn't shut it off. Duh. There we go. Okay, so I blended it up. It's looking like a nice thick sauce. Now, I tasted it first because I wanted to see if I wanted to add some sage. And I'm just going to add a little tiny bit. Just a pinch. Sage goes very well with um, butternut squash. Now, at this point, you just want to taste it. Make sure the salt and pepper is correct. And I like this consistency. Mm. Wow. You definitely taste the butternut squash. You get a lot of that roasted red pepper and the garlic. Might need a little bit more salt, but I could always put more salt onto my, my plate. I wish my husband would eat stuff like this. So I'll probably get quite a few meals out of this. This is delicious. Okay. Okay, so I have my pan heating up here. And I sprayed it with my spray. And I have one of those um, sausages for three points. I forgot the name of them. Something fresco. It was in my other video that I did when I did the sausage. So, but I'll, I'll remember the name of it and I'll put it in the description box below. Each sausage is only three points. So I cut up one sausage and threw it in here. Now I'm going to add some zucchini noodles.
save that for another serving. Just gonna mix this around a little bit. So what I'm trying to recreate here is actually just to have it being a um, a spaghetti dish, but I don't want all of that pasta. So I have my whole grain spaghetti pasta here. And I'm just going to weigh out on my scale, my scale's here. I am just going to weigh out right on the scale. It's already cooked and I'm just going to weigh out two ounces. There you go. Two ounces. Now I'm going to be adding some of my spaghetti squash. Lower that. And if you're making this for your family, you could just make a whole big pot of it. Pan, whatever. And this is a huge portion, you guys. So the only thing that has points that's in here is the sausage and the pasta. I feel like with the spaghetti squash and with the uh, zucchini noodles that it'll feel like the whole entire dish has just all regular pasta because then you're going to get some of that bites of the regular pasta in every bite along with the other. So that's why we only put two ounces in. Now this entire... This entire thing is zero points. It's just the butternut squash, the red pepper, the garlic, water, and the seasonings. So this is definitely zero points. Once this is nice and hot, we're just gonna toss in some of the sauce. Get this all mixed up. Shut the heat off. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Like I said, at this point, if you think it needs more salt or more pepper. And look, it looks like a, just a big gigantic pile of, of spaghetti. And meanwhile, most of it is the zucchini noodles and the spaghetti squash. This is going to make for one ugly picture, though. Let me just grab a fork and taste it. Oh God, it looks so good. And this is a huge portion. And the points will be in the description box below. Oh my God. Hot. Mm mm mm. Red hot. But you guys, I love it. It's delicious. Let's see what a sausage. Yeah, it's really hot. <laughs> it's lunchtime. I'm starving. Mmm. I think it's a little too thick for me. So I'm just going to add some water right to this pan. I'll add some hot water. Just to mix it up a little bit. If you like it thick, leave it thick. If you want it more fluid, just add, just keep adding water until you get the thickness that you want. But you guys, this is such a nice way 
to make a different type of sauce for any type of pasta, your spaghetti squash, your zucchini noodles with just butternut squash. And you could add basically whatever vegetables you want to it and blend it up and some spices. I just really wanted it uh, with the roasted red pepper. It's absolutely delicious. So I'm going to plate this up. I'll show you the picture at the end. And I appreciate everybody that tuned in today to watch. I hope you make this recipe because it is absolutely delicious. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. If you're new here, please hit that subscription button. Please hit the notification bell. And if you like this type of a dish for very low points, then please give me a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. All right, guys, I'll see you all in the next video. I'm going to plate this up, take a look at the picture at the end, and thank you so much for tuning in. I love all you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>